Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking into the new government in the UK, Labour. Now, the Marshals have got some interesting connections, shall we say, with Labour. And I'm going to talk you through it, show you some evidence, and then I'm going to do a read on it. Just a general read to see if anything would come up or Labour would be affecting them in any way. So I want to start off by saying that the, there is a few main players in this, but I'm going to start off with a letter um, written by a cross group of the House of Commons in 2019. And that letter was um, basically saying they had solidarity with the Duchess of Sussex because of the media, which plays right into the Duchess of Sussex's hands and Harry Markle's hands. And that was signed by quite a few parliamentarians and quite a few of the top, not just the bottom, the top Labour government officials. So, let me just talk you through some of all of this. Labour MP, then Labour MP, Angela Rayner, is now Deputy Prime Minister in the United Kingdom. She is Keir's second, two tiers second. And if he is ill or out of, out of service for whatever reason, she's in charge. She is in charge. So she is actually signed that letter as well. The next one I want to talk about is Rachel Reeves. She is the chancellor. She is the one that controls the money. She is the one that is in charge of all of the UK finances. Um, so she signed that letter. There you go. She's she's on in on it as far as I'm concerned. Yvette Cooper, Yvette Cooper has also signed the letter and she is Home Secretary, which means she's in charge of the police. Pay attention with that one because that is IPP. And the Sussexes, Jack Royston, in fact, has even outlined that the Sussexes, in a Newsweek article dated from June 2024, that the new Labour government with Yvette Cooper, who is friendly towards the Markles, could reverse the RAVEC and help reverse the RAVEC decision. Think about it, because she's in charge of, the Home Secretary is basically in charge of the security services that would tie in with that, the police, where the police funding goes, everything like that. So there is that as well. We also have, a new chair of Foreign Affairs Committee as of September 11, 2024, and that is Emily Thornbury. And in, in 2020, Emily Thornbury said, and I quote, I think the British taxpayer should pay for the security of Harry and Meghan and their family as they do with former ministers. We also have, added to the fray, we also have Jess Phillips, who's the Parliamentary Undersecretary for Violence Against Women, Females. We also have Lisa Nandi, Secretary of State for Media and Culture. She signed that letter. And interestingly, we have Diane Abbott. Now, Diane Abbott's been given a new appointed post of Mother of the House. She is also friends with Nguzi Fulani. She commented on the Nguzi Fulani saga. She's also been associated with Dr. Shola. You know, the woman with the noodles who shouts a lot who goes on TV and just like slams the monarchy. I'll share some screenshots of 
all of that for you. Pause if you want to read any of this, by the way. So there's a lot of big players there. Now, remember, Ngozi Fulani was the lady who tried to bring down Lady Susan Hussey and caused a big fuss in the media. And yeah, that was a whole thing. And like I said, Lisa Nandi is also an anti-monarchist. And there's quite a few. There's also the fact that Keir Starmer has said he used to be an anti-monarchist. And he's basically a communist, to be honest with you. In fact, he is a communist, in my opinion. So there's a lot there. Foreign Secretary David Lammy has links to Miss Anne Harriman. It's a convoluted mess. Now, there are a lot of sugars and sugar adjacent people in the government. What does this mean? It means that they could influence other countries. I mean, there's something called diplomacy, especially when it comes to Harry and Megsy. There's something called, you know, oh, can you do this? We'll sort this out. You know, there's tit for tat with some countries. Could that affect you guys in America? And you think, no, oh, no, it couldn't. Well, it depends on where your administration leans. And that's not a conversation for me. I'm just telling you what it's like from this side of the pond, you know? Um, there's one more lady I want to talk about, and that is Dawn Butler. Now, Dawn Butler is an MP. She is also an anti-monarchist. She is also a sugar. She is also associated with Sadiq Khan. He's the mayor of London. Ngozi Fulani, Dr. Shola, all of those lot. There's a little, there's gangs. There's gangs and gangs of people everywhere. And they've got influence. It's like pressure groups. So with regarding Harry's IPP case, unless this is called out and drawn attention to, I am a bit concerned he may get it. Now, I went down this rabbit hole, and it is a big rabbit hole, because of the fact that Harry's visa was sealed. And I just thought, wow, that's quite interesting, isn't it? how these, these things are happening. So there's all of those things that are pro Harry and Meghan at the center of British politics. And oh, I just wanna say as well, Dawn Butler was promoting everyone to every American who is living in Britain. She was doing her damnedest to get everyone signed up and voting and also promoting Kamala Harris. So there's that as well. It's that that's a link to the Democrats. So take with that, take it as you would like, take it as you are. There's too many coincidences for me, too many coincidences. And I don't believe in coincidences, especially when you're dealing with politicians especially when you're dealing with these famous Hollywood types. I want to I wanna have a look. I want to have a dig into it all. So I'm going to leave a link to my... I've got most of this on a Twitter thread, an X thread, if you will. And I will stick that in the comments below. Please have a look at it if you want more screenshots and stuff. I will update it. I think I've got some stuff I need data from the last few days as well that I've included in this video that I haven't included on there. So give it some time, I will update everything. Okay, let's get into the reading. Is there some kind of spirit spiritual? Is there some kind of political bias that could affect the IPP case coming from the Labour Party? This needs it does need calling out, you know, guys, because if there's pressure on them, because the Labour Party have been a massive failure so far, if there's pressure for them on them, the Labour government, they will eventually 
you know, it would look like cronyism. And there's 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 so much stuff about cronyism with the Labour Party, with the Labour government, that they would have destroyed the Tory party for them, for it. I'm not a Tory, by the way, I'm not Labour either. But they would have destroyed the they would have destroyed the Tory party for them. So it's this this it's just it's a lot. It's a lot. So what could happen? Show me what could happen. Show me the Empress in reverse. Okay. This maladaptive cruelty, there's issues here. The Empress in reverse. With that, I feel like they are going to try and say the Harry Markle card, if you will. But what about Diana? This is what happened to Diana. This is what happened to my mom. This is what happened to Diana. I do feel like they're going to say that. What's crossing over? The lovers crossing over. Oh. So we've either got a Gemini politician. I'm trying to think of Geminis. I know Donald Trump is a Gemini. Maybe he's got he would be the block to them getting to get in this and what they're worried about. I think they are gonna I think they are gonna try and reverse the IPP. The Ace of Cups, there's a lot of gaslighting. Um it's in reverse, so there's a lot of gaslighting. There's a lot of mirage a lot of ill harmony and there's also a lot of energy where we've got this kind of thing where they pretend to like something but they don't actually like it that could be the vibes towards the british people or the monarchy and the tower is what's going on at the minute and it's self-inflicted so I do believe that Harry is on their radar straight away because we have the mother in reverse and the mother in reverse, the empress in reverse. It's it's going back to Harry's mum, but it's misusing that energy. It's misusing that, that it's duplicitous, it's cruel. What, they're going, what they will do is say, oh, well, look what happened to Harry's mum. Look what happened there. And with the Ace of Cups in reverse, they're gaslighting. With the lovers crossing over, potentially it would be like, oh, we're doing this unified. But I don't know, because the lovers crossing over, that Empress in reverse, it would seem to me it would more astrologically relate to a Gemini. So I feel like one of the problems with some of their plans may come from a fear of a different group of politicians getting into the US. Cats. The Nine of Cups is in reverse there. That Nine of Cups in reverse says to me, I don't think they, like, I don't think they potentially like Harry. Like, they don't like it. It's just a way to form progressive politics. They don't want to be inclusive of him. They just want to kind of, like, They just want something to hit old establishment, old archaic establishments, which they don't agree with anymore over their head. There's temperance in reverse. I feel like they're going to do something. I feel like it's going to get messy for them. Got the world in reverse there. What's surrounding them? Got the high priestess. The world in reverse there. 
they're wanting a hard stop on something. And the high priestesses, they don't want people looking into things in a sense. There's something like they want to keep things in the shadows and like people in the subconscious. I feel like a lot of people in Britain are going, we know these guys are absolute shysters, to be honest. And they don't want them prodding too deeply into their motives. And one of their motives, I feel, is the anti-monarchy sentiment. We have the Five of Swords, it's in reverse. They don't want people looking into the details. And the Page of Swords, something will come out on social media, something, something that is gonna cause quite a lot of traction. It's gonna be quite destructive to them. That Temperance card in reverse, it makes me think that everything, they try to make everything very black and white, does the Labour government. They try and make things like, if you oppose mass immigration, you're automatically a racist. Or if you don't like illegal immigration, you're something phobic. Or, you know, it's always like that. It's never, there's never black and white. There's never nuance with them. And I feel like they go to the extremes here. And I feel like they pull everything apart. They don't mix it up. They don't see the, the gray areas, the overlapping. It's very kind of right or wrong. You're with me or you're against me. There is no kind of like, there is no middle ground. And I feel like they're going to go far. They're not going to do the middle ground. This does need calling out. The world is in reverse here. They are desperately trying to change things, move things forward. I wouldn't be surprised. It's not unknown for Labour to try and use something to happen with the royal family to get themselves a good news day. That is all I'm saying. They want to shift the focus onto something else. It can happen with, it happens with Blair, it happens with um, Wilson. I do think that this is a issue and Harry and Megsy are useful idiots, useless idiots. There's a lot of major arcana, that high priestess here is, they are trying to keep things under wraps and they're trying to keep all this stuff a little bit of secret, but subconsciously I feel like the public know. I feel like people know, the people in the UK know that these are just a bunch of commie grifters, a bunch of commie, a bunch of commie grifting, anti-monarchists, anti-British people. That temperance in reverse there, that to me, it really says that they aren't really going to be able to pull things together and they see everything in black and white. So if they see everything in black and white, a lot of those people who are adjacent to Harry and Meghan are going to see Harry and Meghan good, monarchy bad. Harry and Meghan good, the royal family bad, you know? There's no, there's no energy that flows between both of them. And that page of swords is in reverse. There's going to be stuff on social media. There's going to be a lot of chat. I feel like they're going to try and dismiss some stuff as just gossip. But I wish a journalist, well, a, or an independent journalist, or somebody who looked into these things and could do deep dives and present it in a way that I can't would look into it because I think there's a minefield and there is a lot more to this story. I really do feel it. There's a lot more to the story because the high priestess popped as the high priestess has popped up. The tower in reverse underneath them, well, Labour are having the worst week ever. They're having a really bad time at the minute. They're having a really, really bad time, especially in the polls. Keir Starmer has, is now more unpopular than anyone else in the whole wide universe according to the polls. So there's a lot going on. But that is what I see in the cards, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, thank you so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Any insights, anything you would like to add, please pop them in the comments below. Thank you very much for being here and I'll speak to you soon. Bye everyone.